There's gonna be a coffee bar at the end of the hall. We've got a fireplace. This will be filled with furniture and it's hard to imagine right now, but when this is just filled with people, gathering together, building relationships in community, ministering to each other, praying with each other. This is an important part of what we envision for the church here in Mill Creek. Came to the block party, it just looked like everybody was really having a lot of fun. I saw a lot of smiling faces and people were extremely gracious. And we've been here ever since and to uh, get to sort of know God in a, in a new way and I never really studied the Bible. People were just um, welcoming and wanted to meet us where we were in our faith, which was fantastic. So we slipped in and joined the pilot congregation that was worshiping at South Street and just moved over when the campus opened. It's exciting to see the effort made to really reach out to the people in the community and see them take us up on the invitation. A year ago this summer, our daughter was diagnosed with kidney cancer. And so we were downtown a lot and kind of away. And then in the meantime, this campus was opening up and Pastor Sterling reached out to us, called while we were downtown, and just prayed with us, and we just felt connected when it opened. Really loved it, and we just stayed coming here. One of the things that I think is really neat is watching the adults who are involved with youth and children really intentionally connecting with our kids and greeting them by name and, and knowing them by name. Especially coming to an area where we are essentially brand new to everything. People are really excited to be here. There, there's a reason for everything, and I believe God uh, brought us here for a reason. <laughs>